Okay, friends, it's time for us to do a sea snake activity. Now, if you went on to Flipgrid, there's a really cool video about sea snakes. Our buddy uh, Hayden wanted to learn more about sea snakes, and I know when I was watching the video and reading some facts, it was it was pretty neat, but I still don't like snakes, Hayden. I'm not liking snakes. In fact, I don't think I'd wanna run into a sea snake. What's really neat about sea snakes is they're able to stay underwater for several hours, and then they have to come up to get some air. But I was reading how they're able to actually get a little bit of oxygen through their skin through the water, isn't that cool? Well, let's work on making a sea snake today and you can do the activities on Flipgrid. Okay, so you'll need a paper plate, something to draw with, and then you'll wanna have your water paints because we're gonna do some water painting. You will also need a pair of scissors because we're gonna do some cutting. Now, sea snakes are long. They have a long body, just like the snakes that we see here on land. So what I want you to do is I want you to start anywhere along the edge of your plate. I'm gonna start up here. And I want you to draw um, a circle going around your plate, but each time we're gonna go a little bit smaller. We're just gonna keep getting smaller and smaller. It's like we're making a swirl until we get to the very middle and then we can stop. So once again, I started at the edge, on the edge of my paper plate. I made a line coming down and I tried to make a circle but just as I was about to stop, I went in a little bit to make a smaller circle and a smaller, and you just keep going. Now we get to take our water paint and make this sea snake colorful. So I think I'll use a little bit of purple. I'm just gonna put splashes of color. I'm just gonna make this sea snake colorful. So while I work on painting my sea snake, I want you to work on yours. made my sea snake all different colors. Now, it doesn't really look like a sea snake yet because we have to do some cutting, but now we need to let this dry. Okay, now my sea snake plate is finally dry and we can move on. So what you'll wanna do is, this is when you'll need your pair of scissors. I want you to start where you started that line on the edge of your paper and I want you to cut on the line all the way around your paper plate. So I'm gonna work on cutting while you're cutting yours out. I think this is gonna start to look more and more like a sea snake, oh yeah. Now, sea snakes have scales, just like snakes on land. They also have a mouth and a forked tongue and fangs that they can bite with. So if you came across a sea snake in the ocean, which most likely you wouldn't, unless you were scuba diving and going down deep, um, you don't want to touch a sea snake. You don't want to uh, bother him. Wouldn't want to upset him. Okay, well, I'm almost to the end here. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Check out my sea snake. I love how long he is. In fact, we may have to measure him when we're all done. Well, do you see how this end from the center of our plate is really small and this end's kind of bigger? This is gonna be um, the head of our snake, snake. So right in here, what I want you to do is I just want you to kind of cut off and make it rounded at the end so it looks like his head. So I just cut off a little bit and now I've got 
the head of my snake. And I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna make two eyes up here at the top. Can you see my, my eyes on there? And now I wanna give him a forked tongue. So let me just take my sea snake up here. Hayden, as much as Mrs. Stewart does not like snakes, I do like learning about sea snakes. These are such interesting creatures. Um, so let's take some red paper, and if you just make a very thin strip of your red paper, and then at one of the ends, what you wanna do is you wanna cut in and make a slanted line in, and then go to the other side, and <laughs> this is a little awkward for Mrs. Stewart, Cut another slanted line. There you go. Well, I did it. It was a little awkward, but I did it. So that's a forked tongue. It's like it's a V shape on the inside. And then what you could do is you could glue this back here. Now, if you want the tongue to be really long, you could always leave it like this and maybe curl it around something like a pencil. I've got this marker here or a crayon to make it curl a little bit. I think my tongue's a little long, so I am going to trim it just a little bit. And then I'm going to take some glue and I'm gonna put just a baby dot of glue on the end that's flat and I'm gonna stick this back here so that my sea, sne sea snake has a forked tongue coming out of his mouth. Oh, this is awesome. And I love how colorful our sea snake is. Cool. Well, I think the next thing is, is we should definitely measure him. We should get out those gummy worms and the measuring tape. Let's do it. Hey kiddos, so for this last part, we're going to measure our sea snake. Now, I went ahead and stretched out my sea snake, but because we made him with a paper plate and it's curved, it's kind of tricky. So this is going to be kind of tricky. But I'm going to take my gummy worms from earlier when I measured my eel. You can use anything in your house that you have a bunch of that's all the same size and you can do some non-standard measurement. So I'm gonna lay my gummy worms along my sea snake's body here. I've got three so far. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just wanna make sure it goes end to end or tail to tail. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It looks like 14 gummy worms. My sea snake is 14 gummy worms. And now let's measure with Mr. Stewart's measuring tape. Okay. Now, this isn't gonna be as accurate because remember, his body is curvy right now. I would need to stretch my sea snake out completely straight to get an accurate measurement. But I don't wanna break his curvy body and I don't want you to break yours. So just do your very best. I'm gonna go from the top of my snake all the way down to the bottom and oh my goodness, can you see how long he is? Do you see what number is on there at the very end here? 32 inches. My sea snake is 32 inches long. Wow. Woo. Well, that was really fun. I hope you had fun learning about sea snakes. I can't wait to see your sea snake, to, to listen to you read your sentences on Flipgrid, and to find out how long your sea snake ended up being. Okay, bye kiddos.